Hi, everybody, and welcome to LawNews.com. Thanks so much for joining us. And joining me here in the studio is editor-at-large Beth Karras. Now, i got to tell you, I'm really interested in this case because of what's been happening with making of a murder and all the attention. It's gone viral. I was actually a reporter in Wisconsin when this all went down. I want to know, what does Beth think? Is Stephen Avery guilty? I don't know if he is, but I can tell you that if the evidence that I had, if I were a juror, only came from the documentary and I've watched all 10 parts, I could not have convicted him. So I want to know what else was left out. And what I have read so far that Ken Kratz, the former prosecutor on the case, has to say still doesn't convince me. I want to know if there are more sophisticated tests to determine if there's EDTA in the blood vial. That's it. So you think this was a setup? I'm not sure. I just think there might be reasonable doubt. <laughs> All right. Very good. Thanks so much for joining us here on lawnews.com.